<laughs> okay, so even if there wasn't enough free-to-play cards to come out at the moment, there are two brand new cards that has dropped on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. One being this Grade 8 Bardock right here, and the other being the SDR Krillin from the Barbershop. They both got an Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, this Bardock here has his own Extreme Z area, while the Krillin has uh, the medals in the Barbershop that you can purchase with the uh, Incredible Gems, and I'll be showcasing that Krillin in the, the next video. Today's highlight is going to be this Bardock. You can get this Bardock from the story event for him, and to unlock the Extreme Z area, you have to do that story mode. All 11 stages, I believe, every single difficulty, and how I completed it was using the uh, Ginyu Force. You can use Ginyu Force on there, and uh, you have to run this Bardock as well, so he's the only one who doesn't really get a leader skill. You just have to use the Tech Ginyu Force and Tech Goldo to really do the big amount of damage. It's not too difficult at all. So, with that said, let's go through the details of the card. This is one of the few giant form category units that Free to Play has to offer. Unfortunately, still a very bare category, and, in, and until they release some more, there's no way that giant form Super Battle Row can be done fully Free to Play. His stats are 15,734 HP, 12,904 attack, and 7,884 defense. As you can see, his HP is ridiculous. I don't even know why it's so high there. And his attack is pretty decent as well. Defense is pretty average. Uh, for the leader skill, he's a giant form category for 4 key and 77% stat boost. With an AGL type lead for 3 key and 50% stat boost. He raises attack and defense for one turn. Causes supreme damage to the enemy with his super attack. SA15, of course. He gets key 3 and attack and defense plus 77% at the start of the turn. And then when you're versing two or more enemies, an additional 77% attack boost. And if you're versing a Wicked Bloodlines enemy, you get an additional key 3 and 77% stat boost. If you have that activated, uh, you get a guaranteed super attack pretty much, depending on the leader skills that you're running. He has a chance of turning into Giant 8, which is about 10% uh, chance of turning. And that is up to two times, so that's pretty good. Uh, two chances in a battle, so for those longer events, you have two lifelines pretty much. For the Hidden Potential system, I went with 15 critical, 8 additional, and 3 dodge. As you can see, he is going to do a big damage if he activates all of his um, passive skill stuff. And uh, the additionals are quite nice, just in case for the uh, raise attack and defense. But not really important though, in this case. 3 dodge, because it's uh, the meta. Now this card is actually needed for the EZA of Frieza. When that uh, Extreme Z area comes around, this card is required in your team for the uh, EZA STR Freezer. So make sure you farm this guy 100% him as well. And um, he's one of the few AGL units in there since you're going to be versing STR. Uh, one of the recommended units too, definitely 100%. His link skills are Sane Warrior Race, Sane Lineage, Team Bardock, Sane Pride, Sane Raw, Transform, and Shining a Limit, which in this case is a very good link set for the categories that he uh, that he is in, such as Low Class Warrior, Giant Form, even Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Team Bardock, uh, and Desperate Struggle. The weakest categories for him in terms of Link set is Goku's Family and, I guess, Desperate Struggle. But other than that, uh, his Link sets work pretty well for his category. And so we're going to be running a full free-to-play Team Bardock team. So it's only double 120 leader, just because nobody's actually running AGL Bardock these days. And uh, at least we get the uh, a great amount of support as well. So that's one of the benefits. And we're going to go up against the Metal Cooler Doken event. That's the only moment where you can actually do uh, two enemies while versing Wicked Bloodline. So we'll get the full passive going. Other than that, the only places that I think activates the full passive here is uh, Super Battle Road when you're versing uh, King Cold and Mecha Freezer. So Super Battle Road AGL could be uh this guy could definitely help as well so with that said let's jump into the event here he's actually very good linking partners with team bardock itself because team bardock's super attack has the great apes in it uh they get the saiyan raw which is a huge attack link 25 percent attack boost uh and then if it's level 10 links that's an extra 10 percent defense so uh at least we get to see the extra bit of attack also they're saying pride just an extra 15% attack boost. Team Bardock is a good key link. Uh, and then the same lineage as well. Same warrior race. Extra little bit 5% attack boost. All of that uh, adds up. And it's going to be some big, big damage. And of course, the uh, Team Bardock provides, what, 50% stat boost to the uh, Team Bardock category. So, big, big damage. Let's keep it like this for now. Uh, we will have to... Actually... 
Double, double, double. That's what I meant. Double Team Bardock. And then when Bardock comes around finally, since, you know, we got the uh, showcase unluckiness, he's going to be partnered up with both of the Team Bardock leaders, which is great. So good. And if you get the 18 key super with a Team Bardock, that also raises super class allies attack by 30%. So even more. It's actually a 60% support. I just looked that up. So pretty good. Let's run Fasha here and Shugesh. If Fasha doesn't kill here, then Shugesh will get a little bit of a stack boost and uh, make it easier for us to defend. And Fasha will change orbs as well, making it easier to 18 key super with a Team Bardock. And hopefully... We can see the big damage. Of course, she doesn't dodge. My dodge luck is terrible. I'll be showcasing Krillin, by the way, the other Extreme Z Awakened unit uh, for the Ella Freezer event in tomorrow's video. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so and um, check out all my social medias link in the description. I found both of these cards both on live stream twitch.tv forward slash jfanta. All right, so looks like we aren't going to get the 18 key, but that's okay. We get to see just how, um, just like solo, double support, uh, how well he can do. So, with the orbs collected, and with a total of, from the supports alone, 120% attack and defense boost, and then the leader skills of 120% uh, from both ends, you get 337,000 attacks, that 80,000 defense, and that is only with half the passive activated, the Wicked Bloodlines. So we still have an extra 77% attack boost to look at actually insane this guy is probably going to do a lot of damage and when he versus str uh, ella freeza this guy is probably going to do so much damage 2 million attacks that 1.2 million damage the problem of course as you can see by the card is that it is very restrictive uh in terms of who you can verse in it to get the full passive that's the biggest problem it obviously makes sense when it comes to versing wicked bloodlines because that's uh bardock's enemy in the story of course Makes sense, but in terms of practical use, it's not the best passive in the world. Anyway, let's go and um, save the STR. Do not deal damage to the STR. That is very important, because that is our only type advantage for this whole battle. So, we're going to make sure we keep the STR meta cooler alive here, just so we can get the most amount of damage. We get one shot. One shot. If he turns grade 8, that kind of is a shot. I really want to see... If, um, I really want to see the, uh, the amount of damage. Hopefully we don't turn grade ape in the, the next phase. That would be pretty cool. But it is a 10% chance, so it's very unlikely. Here we go. We're also going to get the... Oh, no, we're not going to even get the 18 key super. Wow. That, uh, actually is pretty unlucky. Guess there's too many rainbow orbs for, uh, to collect here. So let's just go with the 12 key. And we'll target... STR here. Uh, we do have a little bit less support, so our attack and defense is going to be a little bit lower. 354k, 64,000 there. But it's probably going to one-shot the Metal Cooler anyway. We'll just have to rely on the crit. Ooh, nice dodge. Alright, here we go. 2.2 million attacks that, once again, over the 2 millions, 1.9 million damage. No crits, unfortunately, but still amazing damage. And we're so good here. All right. We float out you and go like that. We definitely need to heal here. So let's do that now. Let's just do a little bit of a defense boost. We got some purples. If we happen to have another turn, that is we will be able to get hopefully one more super attack in. But actually, I think we can make it. Of course, Basha doesn't dodge the super attack. Always happens. 90,000. I should have maybe targeted the uh, other cooler just so we still get the full boost. But now we are lacking here. All right, we actually still have the double support going, and we get the 18 key super, so I'm definitely going to try that out. Anything change here? No, but the defense is a little bit higher. I'm guessing Tora is definitely helping that case right there. 
but the attack should be lower. Unless this makes it up for it, but I don't think it's enough. Don't think we're going to hit over 2.2 mil. Good, good. He didn't die. We hit 2 million attacks, that. So we're losing 200,000 there, but a million damage right there. Type neutral. Not too bad. Still looking for the crit. Maybe a transformation at this point would be pretty cool. Alright, we got to stack up these purples. Really want to get a consistent 18 key. Uh, maybe that will drop some... Yeah, okay. Cool, we got a lot of purples there. Nice, we dodged the super. That is very good. That would have been scary if we didn't. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Get a little seal action. And then Shuge should be tanking this quite well. And, oh wow, even the stun. Alright, so we do get the transformation as I wanted it to happen. We're going to see how strong this uh, Grade Ape transformation is. How much damage they can do. Um... I don't want to grab these purples, but it looks like I have to. I'm sure that uh, Cool is going to survive these two these two turns here. So for the attack stat, it's sadly very, very low. 856,000. Uh, yeah, it's just... The transformation's really here for, like, just being invincible and just getting free damage in. It's nothing spectacular. It's not a giant form that you wish to have for speed. Like, if you wanted to do an event really fast, this is definitely not the... Uh, the giant ape character you want to have on your team. At least the normal attacks are quite high if you're lacking in that department. But other than that, it's nothing too crazy. Sadly, not a character that's going to be used all too much. Maybe for Ultimate Clash, that will be that these transformations would be pretty clutch. Uh, the leader skill for the 50% AGL is pretty clutch. But other than like Prime Battle Freezer. Or even like just in farming Prime Battle Freezer. Uh, this guy's probably the most useful in. Here we go. We are going to have the situation hopefully with an 18 key. Nope. Uh, we can possibly run this. Yep. Cool. 18 key super. Perfect. And um, since we lost a little bit of attack because we're not versing two or more enemies. I will try and um, just fluctuate the attack a little bit by using a bomber there. But we have 400,000 attack stat before grabbing the 12 orb. Uh, there's no Doku mode, unfortunately, in this showcase. But hopefully we get a crit and do big damage. Let's find out. Let's find out. Double support. This is huge. If we could have got, like, double 18 key super, that would have been crazy. Crazy for the damage. All right, here we go, here we go. We have 2.8 million, almost 3 million attacks that, and unfortunately no crit, so we are only doing 1.2 mil damage right there, but very consistent over 2 mil attacks that. And that's going to wrap up the showcase for the Bardock. Probably, I would say, the better of the two. That's just my opinion, but I'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. So make sure you subscribe. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and comment down below what you think about this AGL Bardock, he's gotten so many awakenings, started from a rare all the way to an easy A. I think that's the first time for a card to go from rare to an extreme Z awakening. But hey, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.